Okay, good day everyone. Today I will, I will share about this. Okay, because I have some video that I have created the HRK Connect, I create the account, then I turn on the Teams functions. So uh, today I will share about how going to HRK Connect Teams collaborate with this normal face terminal. Okay, so over here I have exactly the terminal over here. Okay, so now I already power on and I already plug the network in. Okay, I already plugged the network in. So over here, I have to create the to create the devices. I just key in my uh, the password. Okay, so I then activate it. I play English. Okay, I change the security questions because it's easy for me. Okay, now I just leave it for DHCP because let him to have an internet. Okay, I enable the HIK connect. So my verification code as I always use, I use double A, double donkey, double C. So okay, ready, I play next. So they already done the HIK connect and have a QR code over here. So it's very, uh, so I done over here. So I just using my previous that have a resistor, the Microsoft team. Okay, this is my phone that resistor Microsoft teams. So we're going to HIK Connect. Okay, I going to under the under the team mode, under the team mode. So I add the device. So I scan the QR code. So I allow uh, allow using only. Okay. So I scan the QR code over here. So once it's done, ready, you please add. <coughs> So you have I mean the some area, for some area I over here I put Malaysia. <coughs> so the the country code is okay ready so we complete. <coughs> so we finish it. Okay, so mostly the all the settings are is from the from my computer. So I will show how the computer do it. But over here we still able to use the door control. To turn on the door okay so we can up we can using still using the apps to open the door as you see here but we be we already ate into here already ma so we back to our this term face terminal make sure this face terminal the privacy all is have to turn on next so employee id i skip on it because i thought i will do on my my pro connect over here so that's why the pro connect i able to test how to run the person over there is more better than I prove it over here okay thank you and I will be next on my PC sections so before we enter the PC session I show a little bit of the pro call uh, this uh, partner team so we can able to call open the lock over, over here so my next week <coughs> my next session is will be a PC parts Okay, so we are follow on this we uh, PC view. We just go into Google Chrome. Okay, so you just go into the HRK Connect over here to access your account. Okay, so you come to over the HRK Connect. They have a login. So it's click the login button. Key in your email. Okay, key in your email. Then uh, key in your account password. So you log on the time. Okay, do you notice this is uh, the HIK Connect interface? Okay, this is uh, their team interface. So you over here, do you notice they have a lot of your button, right? Isn't it? So because I enable everything. So if you want to uh, dedicate it, you can dedicate your own. Okay, firstly, we have to check one thing. Okay, you're going to the device, man device man maintenance or part this part first. Okay, we will have to make sure that access control already inside the uh, your HIK Connect Cloud. Okay, so you're done ready. So this is exactly my the device. Okay, so there are nothing to do over here. So we're going to the person. Because uh, I didn't register any user yet. So we're just going to over here to check. So going to the person. Okay, we, so we can add the person over here. So for my case, I always using one. Uh, one zero zero one lah. Uh. Okay.
Okay, so my name is Fai. Okay, so from this date lah, uh, for me I recommend that you just uh adjust your date over here lah. Uh. Okay, so you make sure they have uh, around ten year gap lah uh, because uh the attendance using lah. Uh. Okay, so this until this thirty of uh January. So this please turn turn it off because to we don't use that part. Okay, so over here we have to resist. We have can take a picture over here, so we can upload the pictures. So I put my desktop. I have make my make my picture inside already. So this is my picture. I save it. So done ready. So we add into the system. Okay, so you done ready over here. So we go into the access control. So the way the access control here, they have an access level. So access level this part. So we go into the access uh manage access level. So we click your at your access level first. Access level is the group particular who able to access the specific door. So this is how we using on it lah. So we can just pick it all lah for this because I just using for testing. So just click your device. Okay, you click on it. You just select on it. So that's all. But for dedicated time, I think you can set over here. If you want to like a special time, you can click add to have a special time to access lah to give the authority for the person. So we don't use it today. So it is all day template. Okay, make sure this this part. Okay, we click add. So we already done the access level. So we assign by department. So we just click assign department. So I click all. Save for it. So my all depart this all department able to access this door. So we take a try over here. Okay, this is exactly my live view over here because I want to test these devices. So how I going to test it? Okay, now you see they already verify me, so I taking in front. So you able to verify. You see, firstly, I don't do regist registration over here, but I done on my uh, HRK Connect Cloud there. So it's done Thank over part you. to verify. I able to access. Okay, we back on this uh, PC view part. Okay, just now I have done my verify on the face the terminal. I adding it by using on it. So over here, you can take a look. Oh. Okay, this is my access control. The current is under effective lah. So it's done already. So nothing to do over here. So we have to do the major part. We call time attendance. Okay. So we go into the attendance part. But this attendance is a bit tricky lah. So that's why I just have to tell you all guys lah. I honestly to say that lah. Okay. So over here we have to make us. We take a look on the schedule. Do you see that person over here already? So where we going to make a timetable? So in this part they have a timetable right here. So you just create a timetable. So you add your timetable. So you just put a timetable for daily. This for daily using for uh nine a.m. to six p.m. Okay. So you can change whatever color you like. Okay, over here. But I have to that. But we have to take note over here because ah. Uh, they just between ten minutes only. So if you your employee if earlier come, so I believe you need to make it earlier. So you click edit. So over here you can put six o'clock. Put over six o'clock and this you can put six o'clock. Okay, over here I think you I prefer you take twelve because you don't want to miss any step check in and check out. Okay, so this is check-in time and this is check-out time. So we make it drop over here. So two, three, fifty-nine over here. Okay, so it's done ready. We can add on it, add on into it. So let's say Saturday have a take half day. So we will click over here again. So we're going to see a half day. So we make a daily half day, nine a.m. to uh one p.m. So same things. We have to click this here again. So this you put six o'clock. And this you can make a little bit because this is half day. Some we have to play with those uh late comer. So no choice. Okay. So. 
and early leaf people so you have to set over here so this will be 10 31 to until 2 3 5 9 because some people might be uh might be doing ot we have no idea on it okay 59 okay done this part so we click F. so yes yeah, you see i have uh, uh, eh. i sorry i haven't this have to make it 13 okay my work time had to make it 13 okay so so then you can see here the work period is 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. so it's done right here done ready so we're going back to the general so general was speaking which general is their setting so that's why now my Saturday will be going so we have to untake the Saturday for the weekend we can save it overtime part okay so count let check out as OT. okay this have to part you just put this is depends okay as number you work for around one hour then you finally become ot yes you have to put 60 minutes over here from here we just test thing so i put one minute okay so currently i just doing set up but i will show you another some session after one day uh, after i done a uh, one day ago i will show you how the uh, the next score from the report part so no worry about that uh, so we done already so we back to the city again over here we back to the attendance rule make sure i check in i check out required okay that's all uh. so i think there are nothing to do over here we back to the our schedule okay this is schedule but how we assign the timetable into the schedule okay this is a bit difficult part uh, for over here so you go into the Monday. Okay, example today is Monday, but today this obviously is uh is a public holiday, but no chance we follow the week by weeks are uh, easier. So click plus. Okay, so you make sure you are doing nine to eighteen, nine to nine to six o'clock. Okay, so we can do a repeat progress. So this is the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So and this you can put a year. Make sure that you put it correctly, lah. Okay, so we put 2027, make sure it's January, then 31st. Lah. So, okay, already done. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, done already, so click save. For this part, we add, uh, there are nothing to do, so we have to, because this is applied for Monday to uh, Friday, so we have to click another, is for the Saturday. So, make sure your Saturday you are correct. So this is Saturday time, 9 a.m. to 13 p.m. So make it repeat. So you only take Saturday. Same go to this part. So we do pick 2027, January 31st. Okay. So to start and do it, save. Save. Okay, as you see, this is the weekly running, right? Isn't it? So if you want to see a money, I think it's more easier to you to verify that there is a working part. Okay, so we just double check on here, on here. So normally Monday, this is the Monday part. Okay, and Saturday part. Okay, so this is how we're going to a time attendance lah. So this is where how I going to do a setup parts. So we going that my uh my next previous session uh, on we will talk about how we generate it, but because ah. Uh, since over here i come to let you see one thing sir, because i just set it up i don't have any like uh, conf uh configure have uh, some report over here so we just go into a transaction so this is all my transaction so over here we can done the we can see all the transaction does not have a testing on it so this is all transaction over here so the one thing we can do is I think we can do over here this because this all is transaction only okay so there's a transaction so we see the report so we will see the report will be a bit weird lah. so we're going to the report time okay since total time cut over here so we take a we calculate Okay, as you see, so the time card already mentioned that hey, I don't see a clock in clock out because I don't over one year, uh, one day. So that's why the report will not come out for this part. Some more hour we don't see have any. We can able to see those uh, 
zero zero just a no data and late report might be can see might be can see because we able to see yesterday okay so we don't see a lot of data over here okay okay so we don't see over this i have to select department okay so we don't see much over here lah. okay there are no there's no choice lah. okay so this is the thing we, what we can see over here is like that only so my next be my next session will be talk about how, how after i generate those all transactions i able to see the exactly the data lah. okay thank you for now i'm let's let's see my next session okay so we today now we back to the our this pc view back because we have to i have uh, done some date adjustment so as i able to get yesterday transaction report so come to over here attendance over here so we able to see now currently they have a zero one yesterday time they have uh, done the transactions okay so within this part uh, the data is keep flowing to the uh, to the cloud so that's why the cloud there they have, they have uh, captured all these uh, transaction data so we, how are we going to calculate this transition data according your schedule time time schedule you're doing so we have to go to uh, this time card okay so this time card over here do you see they have recalculate over here okay we can select recalculate 0 01 until today 0 02 okay so once we click okay then you click target to all person recalculate so okay after we done recalculate already so we can check today and yesterday by right, zero 01 and zero 02 okay so we click the filter but uh, now the data already mentioned that they have a uh, working time okay working time over here so currently uh, they are showing like okay like today zero 01 I already have a time for 9, 9 o'clock check in, 16 o'clock check out, 02 to 831 check in, and uh, if it's 06 check out. So, somehow they don't tell me they have a uh, absent duration because I don't do absent, but I got overtime because I my overtime I set by one minute. So, this 10 will be over my 10, 10, 6 will be 6. So, all my general report will be at the overtime report, they will mention. 10 minutes for Monday and be able to search today uh, uh, today as well so we, if you want to see a general we can take a filter like that so 10 to 16 so easy for you but usually on this part I have a done recalculate already right isn't it so now we too have to want to see the report out so report uh, they have a certain of various type so you can click export we have an Excel, PDF, CSU, and TSC. So we go to a PDF, customer print format. You can select F4, horizontal view. So when you export it, you can see how the things looks like. Lah. Okay, we have uh, all department. The name is Fai. So the working the working time, overclock, and so on. Sir. But if you want to try to minimize this, you can do it here. We back to this which I connect they have a uh, this we call custom column item that you don't need you can undo it lah. okay like example this work day you don't use it you can undo it and regenerate it again okay I hope this video can help you all guys please like and subscribe to my channel uh, thank you